Hey everybody, it's Bill from MacTracker.com and welcome to this episode of Behind the Mask. We're going to do a toy review today. Raven from Series 2, uh, it's Corvette, if you don't know that already. Uh, it's one of my favorite vehicles, I think, out of the line. And Calhoun's outfit for this figure and in the you know cartoon itself, I really like the orange and blue. Um, really, really hit a home run there. But uh, before we really dive into the episode, I had a question the other day of um, how many shirts do I have and how, you know, how do I decide? Uh, so um, I hope this helps. So this is a relatively new setup. And before I would have these just in other uh, locations in the house. But now that I can have them at the ready, um, you know, whenever I feel like recording, they're right there. Well, naturally, I'm not going to be wearing sweatshirts in the summertime right now, but kind of get an idea of what we have going on here. This is a lighter hoodie. These are long sleeve t-shirts. One and the other one. This one here got a little faded, but still there, still in the collection. And then these are just t-shirts here. So it's a red mask shirt. Another red mask shirt, but a little bit different variation of the logo. This is a kind of a really lightweight shirt and it's got a lot of give to it. This is artwork that I did a few years ago for RetroCon. You still get that on uh, our Redbubble store if you want it. And this is the Matt Tracker artwork from Alan Greenwood and Billboard Blast. Yep, cover that up. And this is what I decided to wear today for this video. So I have quite a few and most of those are up on the Redbubble store if you want to have one of your own. Um, helps the channel grow and helps keep us going. So anything you do there, I appreciate very much. And while we're talking about helping, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, give us a thanks or join our team here. We get producer credits at the end of each episode. We have to take a quick commercial break right now, but please stay tuned and um, enjoy this mass commercial with Raven in it. Mask doesn't know what it's getting into. We'll be right back. This new Raven's pretty as a lady and friendly as a crocodile, Calhoun. Tracker here. Assemble mask. Venom's back in business. I've been expecting you, Mask. Convert Raven to Jet Mode. Mask, Boulder Hill, and New Raven, Hurricane, and Outlaw. Each sold separately with a picture. Gotcha, Hurricane. Fire tires! Mask Revolution is the ultimate weapon. Now back to Mask and Venom. There are a few more out there, but maskforce.com, I've been talking about it recently. If you haven't been there, please do. There's a ton of information up there and uh, run by a really great guy. So just uh, keep that in mind if you're looking for mask information. Raven is a Corvette that turns into an armored seaplane. And I think the toy really matches the transformation well. It's kind of hard to really fathom how they came up with it, but I always think that the engineering on these is you know, second to none. Well, except for that one thing. You know what I'm talking about. Start with the box for Raven and uh, bring up another video here for you. So here we have the front of the Raven box, artwork done by Lance Anderson. Here's one of the side flaps here. You see it shows parts of the transformation and you kind of get a full look of it here on the back. Another flap showing you how to fire the discs. And here's another 
transformation look. Boxes today do not do any of this. There's so much detail involved on these, it's ridiculous. And then that's the last part of it there. That's the box. And here's an image of some of the variants that would have been overseas. This is from uh, All About Mask, another great website. Please go there if you haven't done so already. Ton of information, a huge revamped website for mask content. Now let's take a look at the toy itself and see how it holds up. Yes, that is a Lego figure that I made. I figured I'd just throw them in there for fun. And here is Raven with Calhoun Burns. Here they are with the masks off. You see the uncanny resemblance between the two. Spin Raven around a little bit here so we can get a better idea of how it looks. There's a front view of it. And there's a little slit there. That is where the discs would fire. Mine, well, I don't have them, unfortunately. Here's the back. Now we're going to open it up here and take a look at the transformation. Uh, geez, okay. Uh, I got to be careful with this. It's been a while since I broke anything now. Um, what is, what's going on here? Come on, come on. There's a little button you press right there on the back where the license plate should be. And it should pop right up, but it did not there. Now there's a button on the side here to flip the front around. There you go. Tuck the wheels in, bring the guns up. And tuck these wheels in as well. And it's ready for action. Here's a front shot of it, fully transformed. Another angle. And the back. And the one thing I will say about this is that Calhoun doesn't really fit in this very well. Um, as you'll see here, you can get them in, but it's just not it's not something that happens easily. So I'm going to pose him nicely here. There you go. He is ready for action. Calhoun Burns, everybody. Inside Raven. As I said, there would be two discs that come with this, and there's a mechanism on the top that you would press to fire it. I do not have that, unfortunately. But let's take a look inside some of the detail of the cockpit. You got a very detailed... Dashboard, seat belts, and the stickers in there are a little bit. Let's see. So, yeah, that's so Raven. I tried, it didn't work. <laughs> um, again, it's one of my favorites. I always like to hear your feedback and your opinions on the toy itself and if you have any stories about Raven from back in the day, um, what you think about Calhoun's figure, do you think it's you know, one of the better ones out of the line? I think it's you know, one of those. And I also think that it's the closest match that you'll get from you know, toy line to cartoon, but that's just my opinion. And also, you know, uh, I have the Lego figure that I made, so that's obviously perfect. So thanks again for watching and please remember to like, comment and subscribe to help keep mask alive. And this is Bill from AdTracker.com and I'll talk to you later.